I recently learned from the BBC, out of all places, that a recent measurement of gravitational waves could be the first evidence for string theory. And not only that, it could also allow for time travel. If you think that sounds like a lot of nonsense, you're right. But there is a grain of truth in it, so let's go and dig it out. String theory says that the particles of the standard model, which we currently think are elementary, such as electrons, photons and quarks, are really made of teeny tiny strings. They are too small for us to have observed them yet. But if these strings had been around in the early universe, some of them could have grown to huge proportions, the length of entire galaxies, but with basically zero width. These are known as cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are made of pure energy and because they are so thin, their energy is highly concentrated. If cosmic strings existed, they'd leave several observable traces. One is that they'd act as gravitational lenses. Normally, gravitational lenses are created by galaxies or black holes, which create rings or parts of rings as an image. But because a cosmic string is a one-dimensional object, it'd very cleanly duplicate images behind it. Basically, one image goes left around the string, the other one right. There have been several candidates for lensing caused by cosmic strings, such as this one in 2006 that, however, turned out to be a pair of galaxies. Last year, I told you that astronomers have identified several more cosmic string candidates in data that was collected by the Planck satellite and that they followed up on with further observations at the Himalayan Chandra telescope. This way, they identified several candidates that seemed to be almost perfect image duplications and that could have been created by cosmic strings. These are now being further investigated. They might turn out to be pairs of galaxies too, but you never know. The BBC piece is about another way to find evidence for cosmic strings, which is that they create gravitational waves. That is because these long strings deform under the pull of gravity, which can cause kinks that can snap into a new configuration. This sudden recall configuration emits gravitational waves at very long wavelengths. The news is now that an analysis has shown that this cosmic string gravitational wave spectrum fits very well to a tentative detection of gravitational waves in this very long wavelength regime done with a method called a pulsar timing array. For this method, one uses the timing of pulsars that are neutron stars which emit particle beams. They rotate, and so this particle beam reaches us with an extremely reliable period each time it points into our direction. If you measure distortions in the pulsar signals from different directions, that can tell you whether gravitational waves stretch the space in between. And they indeed found such gravitational waves which would fit to the cosmic strings. This is why the BBC writes that there's tentative evidence for string theory. What does any of this have to do with time travel? There is an old paper going back to the 1990s that says that if you align two cosmic strings the right way, then you can go back in time if you wind your way around them in the right way. This isn't as shocking as it may sound. In general relativity, time travel is indeed possible, at least mathematically. You can also do it with wormholes. It's not that the theory forbids time travel, it's just that we can't make sense of what it'd mean if we did it. By the way, this video comes with a quiz that helps you remember what we talked about. So what does all this mean now? First of all, string theory, strictly speaking, doesn't predict cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are what's called a phenomenological model. It means that you don't just take string theory, but make several assumptions on top of that which may or may not be correct. Second, some physicists have argued that time travel around cosmic strings might not work due to quantum effects. And finally, the gravitational wave result from the pulsar timing array is at this point very tentative and it could be many other things besides cosmic strings. In summary, the article from the BBC is not totally wrong. The discovery of cosmic strings would certainly lend support to string theory and it would indeed bring up the question of time travel, but the evidence is so tentative, don't worry. Your future self won't come and complain you're spending too much time on YouTube, so don't forget to subscribe. 
But forget about time travel. The future's here already. It's just not evenly distributed, as William Gibson is supposed to have said. If you're looking for the future of news reading, I recommend you check out today's sponsor, Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take, for example, the news coverage of the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics that was awarded for the basis of artificial intelligence. Ground News will collect all articles about this in one place, and you can see immediately that this has been covered much more by the political left. Both the left and right focus on AI safety, whereas the center outlets write about job security. You also get a factuality rating for each news item, and it tells you whom the media outlets are owned by and where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use our link ground.news Sabine or use the QR code so they'll know I sent you. The future's here already. You just need to know where to find it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.